Unsaturated fatty acids, those with one or more double bonds in their acyl tails, require different breakdown reactions than saturated fatty acids. Let's follow the process in linoleate, an 18-carbon polyunsaturated fatty acid. Three beta oxidation cycles cleave the first six carbons before encountering an unsaturated pair of carbons. A cis-trans isomerase changes the orientation of the double bond, and the next two carbons are then removed by further beta oxidation. When the second pair of unsaturated carbons is encountered, the hydration reaction of beta oxidation makes D-beta hydroxyacyl CoA. But to continue the remaining cleavages, an epimerase must first flop the hydrogen and hydroxyl groups now attached to the second carbon of this pair. Now, beta oxidation can finish cleaving pairs of carbons from the acyl tail, leaving an acetyl CoA.